Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today I am back to do a Pay Debt With Me video. Um, this is my second one for the month of April. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing below. Um, I want to show you guys something in my account. Somebody pointed this out in my last video um, that I had never explained to you guys. They asked about my uh, payment. Why was my payment showing zero here? They had the 0% interest and everything, but their payment was not showing zero like mine was. Well, the reason why mine is showing zero is because of my status. I'm considered paid ahead. And even though I'm, I shouldn't say even though, because I have direct deposit set up, the payments were still coming out of my account as normal. So it was keeping that paid ahead status. But um, I had gotten myself paid ahead because of when I was paying off my car, I think I was paying $800 to my student loans. And so I was paying more than the 370 something dollars that they were asking for. And so that's how I got that status paid ahead. And so let's say, um, I'm trying to think of a situation. Let's say it's not a global pandemic like what we're going through right now. But let's say that, you know, maybe a tornado comes through demolishes where I work and I can't go to work and therefore I can't make money. Um, what I could do in here is suspend my payment and nothing will come out and I won't be behind because I'm paid ahead. Now, every statement that I get, and I'll take a picture of this to show you guys and insert it in the video so that way you can see um, there's a statement in it that tells me when my next payment is due. So like this is my March 28th statement, but it says my next payment is due 7-18-2020 for $302.12. When you own IDR, the maximum you can pay ahead is to the point where you need to recertify. So when that re your last certification ends, that's as far as you can go. And I think um, June is when mine is up and i think july starts like the new one if i turn out my paperwork in on time and i am going to do that so let me stop talking and let's get to the payments and billing section in my account now what i'm trying to do is request a loan payoff and i am looking for j Five, and it should be for seventeen fifty nine seventy one. It's right here. And so I'm going to put the date in as Monday. Yeah, why is that important? Oh, okay. That's why that's important. <laughs> the date you choose will be used to calculate future interest due on the date uh, your payment is applied. So that loan... So that your loan can be paid in full. Okay, well I'm gonna do that then, cause even though this ain't we, this is zero interest. I don't, I don't trust them. I don't trust them, y'all. Okay, and so that left it seventeen fifty nine seventy one, and so I'm going to pick my checking out of here. It's not like I have multiple accounts up on here. And now I am going to switch screens. This next screen is going to have like my checking information. So I am going to transition into another one. Okay. So that first one is done. Give myself a nice little check here. Let myself know I did that because your girl over here is forgetful. So now the next thing I want to do do is I want to make a payment on one of my loans and you can go down in this section right here under payments and billing and choose make a one-time payment and whenever you're doing this you always want to target your loan okay if you don't target your loan what happens is they take that amount and they split it across all of the open or loans with outstanding balances and so you want to make sure that you're targeting them um I learned that the hard way. I can't remember what it was, but I remember it splitting it. So this loan is K4. So I'm just scrolling, but I have no clue what I'm looking at. Um, and I need to make a payment of $117.48. Okay, 
Let me tab down. Now the date that I'm going to choose for this one is going to be, this one's going to be the 20th. I'm not going to pick a Sunday. Um, and the reason why I do that is because if I choose the same day as the other loan that I tried to pay off, it's going to flag it. And so it's, it messes with their system somehow. So I don't want to do that. So I don't want it to be flagged or anything. And so I am going to post this payment. And as you can see on K4, I owe $3,423.71 on that loan. So it's going to take me May and June to pay that one off in full. But slowly but surely, we're chopping down a tree. I don't think this is how you chop trees down, but I don't know. Okay, so now both of those are payments have been applied. I feel good. <laughs> now I have to get to work around here. Still trying to catch up because once I get done with this, get this edited, uploaded, and on YouTube for Sunday, I am dusting found some more a box of my household stuff so found these bad boys i am going to be dusting because every time i come in my room i'm sneezing and i have i know i have it dusted in here but i'm gonna dust and get it all nice and hopefully this weekend we can get my um we can get my drapes and stuff hung up on these windows Hopefully the boys feel like it because I got a drill and stuff like that, but I've never used it. I let the boys do that. So I'm going to see if they'll help me out, but I'm going to do this cleaning. And y'all have a super fantastic morning, afternoon, and evening. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please consider doing so. I do at least, at least two um, pay debt with me videos a month. And they're, they revolve around the times so I get paid. So y'all have a great one and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.